Hey, good evening everybody. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's Monday, so we're going to do a uh, Monday shave. I don't know what this is called anymore. Missed the uh, Silky Smooth Sunday again because I overslept. Not having to go to church has really kind of thrown off my schedule. So anyway, I got to get ready for work tomorrow. Back to the grind. Going to go see the boss lady and uh, some patients. So got to get rid of this uh, four days growth, I think. What are we going to use today? Some stuff that's going to be a little different. This is a little different shave for me. Um, some things that are the same would be the Parker SR1. I've got a half nasset blade, third use on it. A little experimental shave today. I've done this off camera, but I've never done it on camera. So we're going to do it. Cremo, blatherless shave cream. We're going to do a shave at shave with Cremo. Finish it off with a little Nivea and a little skin bracer. Um, so I've washed my face with the uh, PAA, oh, PAA cube because I took a shower this morning <clears throat> and I didn't want to take another shower. So wash my face with the cube to kind of soften the bristles and uh, the bristles, the scruffle. And we're going to get going. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. Hope you had a good weekend. Mine was okay. Nothing too spectacular. Like I said, still trying to get used to not having a church to go to on Sunday. And I imagine I could probably go find one, but like I mentioned before, I'm holding off on that until I move into my new place. So sleeping in and taking it easy. All right. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Cremo, it's a latherless shave cream. It's pretty popular. It's been around for a while comes out of the tube like so and the directions are wet your face wet your beard put the cream on wet your hands rub it in and it builds a tiny lather but it, it dissipates quickly but it stays pretty slick what I have found in the past when I've tried this off camera is that it doesn't keep the moisture, so I have to keep re reapplying water. But it is plenty slick and you get a pretty decent shave from it. So let's see what happens here. If I'm not mistaken, <coughs> Johan over at Shave and Butcher did a straight shave with Cremo not too terribly long ago. So it's so slick, my hands are slick and I can't get a good hold of this shavette. So let's see what we got here. But as you can see, I mean, it's working like a champ. Tons of stubble in there. Like I said, I've got a lot of growth. I thought about doing a sacrilege shave and doing canned shaving cream. And a Mach 3. <laughs> but I think I'd have got kicked off of YouTube. But look at that. First pass. I mean, first pass on the cheeks is fantastic. Plenty of glide. Plenty of slickness. It just doesn't stay wet, so it starts to get just a little bit tacky or gummy. But other than that, man, works like a champ. I'm about to Reapply some water. <clears throat> Dry off the hand. And we'll do this side. Yeah. 
I said it is a good product. The only other thing that I can say is sometimes it rolls off on like down onto your chest or wherever and then you just get a blob of stubble. But I guess that's no different than any other cream or soap. They kind of do the same thing. I think it just looks a little nastier with the Cremo. Because it's not as voluminous so you see the stubble. Like I said, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Mine was okay. Nothing too exciting. Spent some time cleaning the apartment. <clears throat> Still getting ready for the move. Got a lot of that stuff. Look at that. Blah, gross. Got a lot of that, uh, moving stuff set up. Got the movers booked. Got the electricity and internet set up to be turned on the day after I take possession of the apartment. Cleaned my place up here a little bit. Made a run to the Salvation Army, got rid of a few things. Still just slowly but surely working my way through the stuff that needs to get done. And so see, even here on the mustache, there's not a lot of... actual cremo left, but still very slick, still very cushiony on the shave. When picked up my suit today, the tailor job was amazing. I will try and figure out how to run some stills in of me in the suit to give you guys a preview. But, so the Shen Yun is this Saturday. I'm very excited. Hope the uh, hope the lady is very excited too. At least last time I talked to her about it, she's ready. She's got plans to go get her the last finishing touches for her outfit. Um, so it's going to be a good time. I can't wait. The other thing, got to reapply. Because as you shave, it all goes away. So we'll rub it in. Got a little water. I think I may have actually washed too much of it off. Didn't put enough. Maybe there's enough captured in my beard to get me through the second pass. Although at this point, I'm really kind of tempted to switch to a DE just because my hands are so slick. Second pass. No head shave tonight. I'm going to Hit it with the trimmers in the morning before I go to work. And then take a shower. Because I wasn't thinking when I took my shower this morning. I should have done a trim up. That way I'd have had a shower to rinse off all of it the hair, but I don't want to run another shower, so, no head shave tonight.
Oh, I do have some sad news to update you guys. One of my last videos, I mentioned that my brother-in-law had gotten some bad news about his esophageal cancer. Well, he went home on hospice last weekend and uh, he passed away this Friday. I got a text earlier in uh, early last week, maybe around Wednesday, that they didn't expect him to um, last uh, through the week, a couple more days at most. And uh, sure enough, they were they were right. I was at work on Friday, and I got a text from my brother letting me know that he had passed away. Friday, uh, Friday morning around 11 a.m. So um, sad news. Thanks for everybody who, you know, gave their well wishes and prayers. Um, hopefully he's uh, resting easy now. Um, so I'll be heading up to uh, New York to go visit my brother uh, this uh, February, the weekend of February uh, 6th or 7th through 10th, I think, something like that. We'll be leaving out Saturday morning and coming back on Tuesday, uh, early morning. So, yeah, a little bit of a bummer. Um, that's probably, I mean, I you guys probably tell I'm a little um, down in the mouth, and that's 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 why. i um, been thinking about that all day. Got the, like I said, got the news on Friday. Hadn't really had a chance to talk to my brother. I was going to be giving him his space. Didn't want to bombard him with a ton of questions and whatnot. And uh, got a chance to chat with him a little bit today. No funeral. The body went directly to cremation. And uh, they will have a little bit of uh, some type of celebration of life uh, later on in the year. With some of my brother-in-law's uh, friends from his job. He was a uh, he was a flight attendant most recently before he passed away, before he got sick. Um, but over the years he had managed multiple bars and restaurants in the Seattle um, area. That's where they spent most of their time. He even tried to open a bar down here in Austin, but it never really took off. He was a uh, entrepreneur and restaurant manager it always made me laugh because he managed a leather bar <laughs> called the chain drive and uh, like I said he managed that for years up in Seattle and then uh, they tried to open a franchise store down here in Texas never really took off he did that for a little while longer and then got out of the service industry. Got into, uh, did medical billing for a little while and then became a flight attendant for a small airline out of the Pacific Northwest. I don't remember what airline it was. He did that until he got sick with his first bout of cancer. Um, when he went into remission, he went back and did that and worked there until he got sick again, too sick to work. So yeah, sad news. I'm probably bumming everybody out, but you know, like I said, you guys know what I do. I talk about what's going on in my life and that's probably the most poignant news or happening since the last time I saw you guys. So yeah, so, like I said, sad news, good dude. Uh, I'll be honest, I, over the years, I think I've enjoyed him more than my brother <laughs> that he was married to, um, but that is what it is. Um, smoked Winstons. <laughs> yeah, I remember Tim and his Winstons.
Sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> anyway, that's the shave. Uh, as you can see, beautiful, silky smooth. Got the, the usual rough spots. I'll clean those up with the head wag because that's what I do. And there's plenty of residual slickness left over. I got no problem. Just add a little bit of water and clean it all up. No problem. Not the greatest shave on the ditch of the neck, but it is what it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Cold water rinse. A little bit of alum. A little bit of the old school skin bracer. Woo, I remember this. You know, I bought this and I hardly ever use it, but man, it reminds me of being a kid. The old man used that quite a bit over the years. And now I smell like an 82 year old guy. Nice, traditional, classic American barbershop scent i don't know if it's typically like a barber shop scent but it's a scent that you would smell at the barber or that most fathers and grandfathers shaved with or finished with and then uh finish off a little bit of nubia cream here almost all gone finish it up february i think is what uh justin over at the red island shaver was talking about i don't remember who started it but that's kind of nice i may hop on the bandwagon for a couple of things there this <laughs> tube of vanilla cream being one of them. I don't know what else I can finish up. You guys know I used the same soap for a year almost until it's gone. So I don't have enough time to finish anything like that up. I don't have anything that, that, that is that low either. So we'll see what we can do. Anyway, that's the shave. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it was a little bit of a downer of a video. But uh, I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me. <laughs> it was a great shave. You guys know. Go spend some time with your friends and family. It's really important. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for spending some time and all the support. God bless. Have a good evening.